I'm Stephen Luke. This is your morning update for Thursday, December 23rd. CSU schools are the latest public colleges announcing booster shot requirements. Students, faculty and staff needing to get the shot by February 28th or six months after their final dose of the original vaccine. Locally, the University of San Diego also saying they're going to require boosters for all students and staff by January 14th. And some programs will also start online next semester. All healthcare workers in California will be required to get a booster shot as well by February 1st. In the meantime, those who haven't gotten it need to be tested twice a week. The governor also sending 6 million at home COVID tests to all K through 12 public schools and extending hours at COVID testing sites. County health officials reporting more than 1800 new cases yesterday. Haven't tracked numbers like this since the end of August. And since the last report on December 15th by the county, there have been 39 COVID related deaths. The search for a missing Fallbrook woman is intensifying. Elena Roy has not been seen in more than a month and a half. Now a $10,000 reward is being offered up for any information leading to her recovery and to finding her. This 84 year old woman last seen November 3rd at her home in Fallbrook. Roy suffers from dementia, and so anyone with information about her certainly is asked to speak up. The San Diego County Sheriff's Department would love to hear from you. People in Chula Vista who have not had their trash picked up can now take it themselves to the Otay landfill free of charge. This is because trash services have been delayed there due to a Republic Services worker strike. Right now, they're trying to work out a better contract. So if you're impacted, for now, you can take that trash to the landfill. You're not going to be charged if you provide proof of, uh, of living in Chula Vista. Also, if you have a business there, you can show proof and, and drop your traf trash off as well. Certainly feels like uh, it's starting to become the norm along our coastline. Rare fish washing up at beaches and now another odd sea creature making an appearance. SeaWorld San Diego received this cold stunned spot fin porcupine fish. There it is found in Point Loma earlier this month. And while it is not as bizarre as the two Pacific football fish or lancet fish that recently made headlines, it is extremely uncommon apparently to see this kind of fish in San Diego's waters this time of year. SeaWorld says the fish under close watch right now and receiving medical treatment. We're going to continue to bring you the latest news right here on NBC7.com as well as on TV. And if you like podcasts, Download Today in San Diego wherever you get your podcasts. Have a great Thursday.